Patrick Glexer podcast, the story of a song. I'm Greg Anson. And I'm Bronson Talby. And this is the final episode of season one. And uh, what we're going to do today, since the last time you heard the mix on the final thing, is uh, we have the stems of the songs of what Anthony and Cariati's final things went through. So we're going to kind of go through them um, and listen. This is going to be a super long episode, but we're going to listen to the different parts that and see how they changed. Yeah, let's check it out. All right. So what we're going to start with first is if you remember um, Bronson and I, what was it? I Optagon that we got the loop from. Yep. The I Optagon app we which, used on the iPad. Which this loop, as we stated the whole time, sped up and slowed down. At first we thought it was cool. And then it saved Terriati about three days of editing our stuff because that's what we recorded to. So let's start with what the drum beat basically turned into. And I'll turn on the percussion stuff and the stuff as it goes on. But right. we'll just start with what the drum beat is. The four on the floor. I love how there's like a. Yeah, whoop, there's a little whoop. this groove. It, and, it grooves, yeah. and then there comes in the R groove, kind of a yeah. little record scratch. There and it is. This tom so, thing, the new tom thing. We've already he's already gone through so many completely different drum sounds. Oh And yeah. there's like a, a fourth. Yeah. Now this is like the fifth. Drum sound. Oh, six. The yeah, six. Or, or even more. And this is, yeah, this is intro, verse, chorus. We're on the chorus now. And then, and then of course, he has, nice. has the percussion going over it, too. I haven't even turned that on. And that's that section he, we, uh, that he said, um, the shaker needs to make an entrance. Yes. It's massive toms. Yeah. And then that little tight snare, and then this. It all works so well together. Maybe a weird, like. That's the acoustic part that he gated. Yeah. This section here is just so cool. And with the yeah. percussion. I love those claps. I love that rhythm. And the shaker just fits right in there. Now he's getting more cool. percussion. He's kind of building each chorus with more stuff. Yeah. Good. And the kind of outro interlude. I love that hi hat. Here we go. The party in Mardi Gras. Yeah. It's a big kick. Yeah, it's got a big dump sound. Everything shaking. <laughs> the tuba. those later because there's a lot of so much percussion going on. Even gets more. Cowbell. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty massive from just That's massive and it's just the percussion. That's just the percussion, yes. Yes. And we gave him that one drum beat. Yeah. So it's like he made like 
he made the like yeah. <laughs> the groove of it. And, and I even th- like sorry to cut you off, but even like the like the affected symbol that kind of has a blah 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 blah. Though like Cariotti, do you know with these um mi- all these mixing tricks, creative tricks on the drums, not just on guitars and vocals and Oh yeah, and I and I love how with the four on the floor, like we we're saying as we're going along, it, I'll play it again. If you listen, there's like a kick noise or something in the sample, and it's right in time. Yeah, there's yeah. kind of like, like a boom, response. Boom, boom, boom. It, but it's like that's kind of like if like if a drummer was playing, his his pedal yeah. might make a noise on the way back. And it's like whether you oil it, but a real good drummer, that pedal will be in time because he'll. It's hear all in time, it. yeah. yeah. So that that that's what's amazing. And that really makes it groove, even though it's just this go go go. It actually is grooving in there. Oh yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, definitely. It, the and subtleties. It's, and it's, and it's hard to explain how. Like you kind of have just have to know groove. That's what kind of amazes me because. Yes, some of this is quantized, but this is just not all put in and thrown to the grid and just kick quantized. It wouldn't sound like this. Yeah, know? it's a testament to their ears. Yes. Because I know, I mean, a lot of times you can do, you can go through so much work and and you you might know it's wrong, but you might not know that this technical thing of, oh, I got to push this hi-hat yeah. or these little things that are going to make it really groove. You and, just might know it's not grooving and you could spend days and, pushing it around. And, and having watched them, this technique and like having actually done that, like, you know, cause you can't just go and grid things up or like move it by hand to the grid. Uh-huh. You have to, the, the way that they've done it is you just start so small Yeah. and you do, a, you true. do, you do, a, you do a beat, you do two beats, you do a measure. And then once you kind of feel it, it gets, but that's the process and it it takes yeah. forever they've been doing this for a long time so um oh i was just gonna like play that's his crazy shaker and then there's then it gets more oh i think that's the kabasa in there too Oh, and it's going with the rhythm of the chorus. That's really cool. Yeah. That's really, really cool. Yeah. And that percussion, and then that... Yeah, that was what I just played. Um, and that percussion, is, yeah, he played that all in. Just a little bit different that time. so cool that is so cool and then like all that all that stuff at the end yeah and if you notice it's they're grooving but they're the cowbell's a little bit like in the overall scheme because it shows you everything doesn't have to um the cowbell, when you hear it with the percussion, is is not. It's a little bit floaty. Yeah, that's true. It's like, and you wouldn't get that if you just quantized it. it no, would, God, it no. Would just link God, it, it in. would just sound like. Did, 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 it would kind did, of did, disappear. Did, 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 did. Yeah, and and if you think about it in a party, into yeah. the people playing, cra- you know, it's probably, you know, it's like There's the some stupid, alcohol involved. It's, 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 it's like the stupid, you know. Skin. The guy on the cowbell is obviously going to be the most drunk. He's got a whole Saturday Night Live thing. Cool. So, um, yeah, the, that is basically what he created with the percussion. And the one part that I want to go back to that I kind of blew my mind when I heard it just itself is this part. Because that is basically the outro intro that you soloed over and um when i heard it i just didn't realize that there was anthony had put this which is like 
doesn't kind of, I mean, it fits the song, but it's such a different beat. Yeah, I really, what I really love is that guitar he puts in in the back on it. Donut with all oh. the reverb. Because um, it, it feels like, with yeah. all that space, if you listen to like my two parts, they're so close. We're all so sure. close. And then when his guitar comes, like it's like the room just widens up and we become, uh, it's it's a really cool like, um, that reverb is so big and obvious and it's so such a contrast to what was just happening. <laughs> two guitars yeah that's cool it, it's just amazing how like if you just listen to what we just listened to the percussion there that like it's just all so grooving and it's a song in itself you know yeah a hundred percent a song in itself that is it's just entertaining on its own <laughs> so entertaining so good Cool. Well, I played that for a little bit. That thing that Cariotti did during the chorus to the um, to your acoustic. I think it's your acoustic guitar. Uh -huh, the gated. Yeah. It sounds unreal. It sounds kind of like. A... Oh, let me. Um, let me. I'm um, sorry. Let me get the beat off. Cause, cause with the beat, it sounds. It... Because it's gated off this off that snare drum part, mm -hmm. um, and not like since, since like he didn't quantize your part, yeah. it's going with the snare. So it's like like so because that's yeah. what that's what in, in your playing is is so good that that's like what Anthony was saying with that trick they used to do with the bass players and the mutes uh -huh. making them sound perfect it's like that only works if the bass player's is right in, in yeah. with the drummer but if it's in like where it should be that's why that sounds so cool and then in the final mix you do not even notice it that the guitar is like has a tremolo effect you know? the, even when it's just that acoustic part and the drums I think it the 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 acoustic guitar doesn't have the like this acoustic guitar quality. It sounds kind of like a cool quirky like oh, it, push a, organ type. Oh, yeah. Or, or it, it sounds, sounds to me like someone's playing like an, a fun organ, like really happy. To me, it sounds like an electric. Okay. Like with a tremolo effect, but I just kind of. Because a lot of times, not on this stuff. Well, actually, on the one of the songs coming up, a lot of times we give Cariati an acoustic part, uh -huh. or I've recorded an acoustic part, and then mm -hmm. by the time it goes to Ableton, we put a little distortion. It turns into what most people think is like a, and, and sometimes that's a good trick because if you record an acoustic guitar, like I'm talking simple, like you know, bam, bam, and yeah, and then you start adding just it gets this weird distortion that you could never get in the room because yeah, it's that's not, true. you know, so that's why I'm playing around. But I think I don't even I know it's guitar because it's labeled, but I, I think of it now as an electric guitar. Oh, I yeah. see the organ, I definitely see the organ, I definitely see that. So I just thought that was something really cool, and it's um. I guess that's what side chaining is now. It's gating. It's just mm -hmm. a new word for it. But um, yeah, I wanted I wanted to just listen mainly to some parts of that of the guitars, and maybe the bass by itself, and then. Um... It's funny. These didn't really. Some of these these are very close to the sounds we recorded. Yeah. The bass I basically did direct, like, mm -hmm. um, and I let them put the distortions. And yeah. other demos where you heard the distortion, that was put on afterwards, because if I played bass with distortion, I'd play completely different. I'd yeah. be like Mr. Aggressive. Yeah, that's true. Because, you know, the distortion on the bass is kind of just to make it stand there. It's on the bass track too. It's like, 
And that really, that made the song. Cool. Um, uh, well, it turned into the vocal melody for the chorus, which I remember we, we just, we, do you remember? I think we kind of labored over that chorus before we just sang that melody. That's kind of how I remember it. But oh, it could no, be the I mean, song. Um, with the chorus for this song, it was just, it was more like a, like an executive decision. It's like, do we sing that syncopated thing or do we something long? Yeah. And I love that line, so we just okay. went Well, I, I didn't... I thought it was like, that was like a good, like, oh, we, we realized what to do, because we had done the verses already, and like, it became so easy. That's so, that tremolo guitar, you can just barely hear it right now. Oh, I really like that, that octave, some accent just happened. Oh, that was, that was one of, that's something that shouldn't have been on. That was, uh, that was, I think, uh, that's, that was, sorry, I'm, I'm piloting the ship. <laughs> oh, oh, that, that was great. one of Anthony's, I think that's either one of his key, here we go, it's one of his key. Oh, cool. I, I have no idea, hey, that's also. The right? I think I. That's good, wow. I can't even, this might be a keyboard, it could be one of his crazy guitar sounds. He makes sounds like, yeah, but that's like, yeah, a lot of sounds. Some of the other songs he has some more, but yeah, some of those like, Anthony's just so good with those little glue sounds. Yeah. Like, like, what is this? Like, what is this? It's like, I mean, it's two things. It's like, it's like some a, muted. It's a piano, but but it's like. And then like a xylophone, like a vibraphone, you're hitting with like a mallet. But this, what's this? That's like. This is the sample that Cariotti was like. It's super loud. Oh, and it ended up being the quality, like yeah. that blasted. Yeah, and it's more the. Um... I think there's like this radio quality. Oh. Like far away still that I can hear. That, that, that's that, that's this. That's on another channel. He oh, has that. Really cool. yeah, he's got another. Where does that happen? That happens right there. That happens right there. The, like, oh, that's cool. That's yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. I mean, like, Cariati almost mixes things so perfectly. Uh -huh. Sometimes that, like, when... Like, if you want something accented, sometimes yeah. me and Anthony have to go back. Another DB. Another DB is like, you know, it's like... Cause he you, has it all glued to oh, move. Oh, well, it's because, like, he does the thing of, like, really blending everything uh -huh. and, and, you know, cut stuff out. But, like, listen to the Rolling Stones. I mean, like, that... that, that tambourine should like you know it's like i can like hear it from sport, down the street like yes. 6 db louder than the vocal <laughs> so that's what happens when the, the vocalist has the tambourine she, oh that's <laughs> true i don't know <laughs> um cool all right so yeah uh, we have those guitars oh what i wanted to yeah so many cool like random but perfect things going on everybody's going with your vocals And then we went, there was a whole thing about the Mouton biphaser and how they got the sound. What is that? Oh, another one. Wow. Anthony might have played to that too. It sounds they like there's def many yeah. other tracks. Or Cariotti double them. They just. <laughs> nice. Those are like Anthony's uh, sounds of all this stuff. Yeah. Can I hear that? Solo. Oh yeah, that's yeah, such yeah. a big where, part of the where, song for me now. Where, let me let me just. Uh, okay. That's so in, good. In the, in the so solo, like, yeah. Yeah. Is that it? Oh, oh, this part of it, right? This is. No, that. Then it's coming up. Oh, okay. It's that guitar. Yeah, and that's mixed with. Wow. That's mixed with your unison. Yeah. 
Oh, that's you. That's you. Right. And the, oh, and then the other one. Sorry, I don't even know the top guitars on top. There's another one. Uh, where, another one. Is it on this track? I think there's another just like leading guitar. Where did that come from? Oh, it's here. There's coming in, which is cool as he has. Yeah, kind of like the lead in I notes. I love that guitar. That yeah, did. yeah, lead in notes. Um, yeah. Um, like if um, this this one doesn't start, the beat doesn't start on one. I know when I revert when we wrote reverse evolution. Yeah. The way the the places where the beats came in are not where the verse and chorus was, and that was just how we started. We were just turning on and off beats and right. just playing to different things and how sometimes things like that make the song really cool because, you know, the voc the, the song yeah. will start, start with just a kick drum and vocal and then your second line, the beat comes in so it, it's moving but it's still the verse, you know? So. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, no, that, that, but that's what that guitar thing... No, he kind of foreshadows it with this before you... Oh, what's that? Yeah, before... I love that. I didn't know that was that guitar. That's cool. I, I never heard that too. Long. Just another da, 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 yeah, yeah. It's like, and but it's funny because my fa my two favorite guitar things he did on the song. I just found out they're both the same track. It's that bono and it's the ah. Those are my two favorites. So I'm like, wow, that's really <laughs> that's cool. And then so this is. This is going into the outro, the outro channel. Okay. That guitar again, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Fun, yeah. The, I think this is the Chase Bliss here. Okay. Um. It's supposed to be, I think that's a good guitar sound. It's great. Can I hear the like the harmonics he was hitting on the other guitar track? That's no, there going is there is no other there's a synth track. Let's see. There, and then there's my track, but That's what you're talking. Are you talking about this? Oh, There's it's something that feels like it's way on the out, the, on like this. the far right. The far. It's those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you those. got good ears. They I just didn't... kind of mix in with the distortion yeah, in a way me... that it sounds to me. That sounds like like someone's doing harmonics. Now I hear the part clearly. But yeah, before I heard that solo. And what's amazing is as we're going through this, like. This is what gets me about Anthony and Cariotti. It's like, turn off two tracks, keep the vocals on, and you have another great mix. Yeah. So it's like... Yeah. I don't know if I would have... You, you, was it just probably, not barely audible, but like, the, the, you know, everything but blends. it's doing it's, something. It's, it's, it's like, amazing. It's keeping, yeah. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. Let's listen to... <laughs> Yes. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, yeah. It's very cool. Very and I really love how they did mix in like these synth synthesized sounds also. Oh. Because it really marries it with the song. Yeah, and I think I when I instantly heard this in this end section, I knew if I put And I, I knew I if do I, think I, that I knew, makes it more like party, like we're all in this, we're all here. <laughs> well I also knew it would take any um any little thing of like those horns because it's, mm-hmm. I mean, who knows nowadays if people can hear horns from computers. It's all the same. But yeah. I knew adding that complete washboard, wa- yeah. washboard element of of that would just take anything else. It takes the edge off. Yes. And it adds a room sound to the other things yes. happening. And I know that because I didn't hear the banjo until we're soloing in now. But I, in the song, I hear like the work it's doing, like in the sure, grand scheme of things. Sure, I, and, yeah. And, and I never heard when they sent me the stuff. Maybe it was the way it was mixed. I never heard the way. I basically mirror Anthony's guitar. Mm-hmm. I do another part which is a little sloppy, and I also gave him like a like a picked line. Mm-hmm. But they said it just didn't work. So it's all cool. Like so that's like, and I don't know what part Cariati made like because right, it's true. like that's part of the thing of giving them the stuff it's like i usually not i'm attached to stuff but how it works in the grand scheme sometimes is yeah. just um yeah so no that that i i, I think that part plus the uh, yeah because it, it, it just sounds like a big thing and with your vocals and all the stuff it, it just adds to the you know madness yeah it's all perfect Cool. So I think unless you want to listen, oh, this, oh yeah, I want to listen to the keyboard and the omni chord in the second verse. Oh yeah, okay. And then I we're gonna get to the vocals last because those are the most impressive. Uh, yeah. So these were yeah. This was. And that's basically how we recorded that part for, mm-hmm. I mean, like, as you know, and this is a good lesson, like, I think we recorded that for three or four sections, but it only got used in one. Like, you cannot, right. you cannot have, you can do whatever you want, but it's good sometimes just to have something happen once in one verse. Yeah. It gives it a different feel. It gives it a different, you know, so, um, but of course you got to record it a bunch of times. Um <laughs> Um, but oh, also too in the first verse, that was exactly how we did it. I don't know. You can tell me. Is this our Omni chord or did Anthony add this? Oh, oh those, that's the Omni chord when you hit two keys at the same I time. I know exactly where we did this. Yes. And that Omni chord also has such a cool feature. I don't know if we recorded anything for it with this song, but where you just hold on the to the left where the note is, where like A minor seven or whatever it is. If you hold that, it gives you such a good like pad chord. Oh yeah, yeah, to play, play on, and it and it's not what we're talking about is the Concordian app. Yeah. And it's only as of now, it's only available on the iPad. I've learned that since. Uh, wow. So that's uh, yeah, and I think that was my girlfriend Asia, who because when I brought it up to Anthony, he had no idea. So it nice. had to have been her. There's only <laughs> two people I get apps from. Um, okay. Cool. So the the only thing left that we haven't really dove into is the vocals. Okay. And what I think is amazing, and I'm just going to play them. I just want to get the background. Um, it's just, you know, if you've heard the mix and then you hear them soloed, it's the effects that are on them. It's pretty crazy, you know. Sitting on the curb, eating caviar Feel closer to the earth, sleeping underneath the stars Celebrated this morning, drink champagne through a straw Can't get- oh, sorry, let me get that And drink champagne through a straw Can't wow. get to where you go. It's just amazing You don't know where you are The amount of reverb and just in them when you- There we are But when I turn it off it seems to be gone. 
everything is gonna work yeah, it just this makes time. It fit. Everybody's gonna sing along. I just gotta write another song. Try not to take too long. Everything that is has a different effect this on it. Time. Yeah. Everybody's gonna sing along. I just gotta write another song. Try not to take too long. Walking down the street cool. with my headphones on. Feel closer to the beat. Without my shoes on, celebrated this morning. It's a beautiful day. You can get to where you're going if you have something to say. Everybody's gonna sing along. I just gotta write another song. Try not to take too long. Everything is gonna work this time. Everybody's gonna sing along. I just gotta write another song. Try not to take too long. And do we have like uh, the the track he did that he used to thicken out the vocals? Or are no, they together? No, no, that, in that, that is. Uh... That are all, that's all of them combined. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's, wow, we got to hear it when we were um, when we were there in the last episode, and he did so much work to really make these vocals thick and full. Everything is gonna work. This yes, time. yes. Everybody's gonna you're sing both, yeah, you're along. A lot of I just gotta write another song. Try not to take too long. Everything is gonna work this time. Everybody's gonna sing along. I just gotta write another song. Try not to take too long. Yeah, so here are the... And Celebrating this moment. Drinking champagne through a straw. Can't get to where you're going if you don't know where you are. Celebrating this moment. Celebrating this moment. I love it. This moment. Celebrating this moment. Celebrating this moment. Celebrate. I just love it. Obviously, all so good and perfect. The one thing that is like, the one thing that's just like, holy crap to me is that this moment. It's so perfect. And it's so. Celebrating this moment. It's like a little late, but it's like a call. <laughs> it's so fun. It's so perfect. I love that part. I Well, A, I love how this ending shaped up, but I really love, yes. I love like, like these kind of celebrating this moment. That part, part. Oh, yeah. Celebrating this moment. Ooh, celebrate. Because also too, he didn't do the same thing. No, he yeah. and he only did those ahs for the last That's two. Too. The first yeah, one are yeah. completely unique. Yeah, and and um, yeah. I mean, it, it's that idea of um just using the right amount of spice right. like and because because I, like and, and this is something that more in the next song but like the demo of the drums in the next song like they just went a different direction and it's so much better because uh -huh. the drums in the demo are so aggressive yeah and it's like you yeah, sometimes if you go aggressive or go full at the beginning there's nowhere to go yeah that's true so it's like if this song started with this after three minutes you'd be sick of hearing it, you know? <laughs> well because you know that that's part of building a song and yeah. a good song a good story always wants when it over you want to play it again yeah so why is that and if you know you don't want to so um that really unless there's something else you would want to Go over. That's really, I think, the end of it. I was just amazed in hearing these vocals. Yeah, maybe let's listen to the Celebrate vocals. Celebrate in this, this moment. Celebrate. Yeah. Uh, don't know where. You where do you start? Can I actually use Pro Tools? No. Celebrate in this moment. Drinking champagne through a straw. Can't get to where you're going if you don't know where you are. Celebrate in this moment. Celebrate in this moment. Celebrate in this moment. Celebrate in this moment. Celebrate. Yes. 
celebrate wow. this moment. Yeah, my, yeah. Like I just for the people who are interested in the podcast, I just find the way those vocals sound soloed versus the way they sound in the mix. Like unless I had this, I would never know. Like if I was mixing, that's yeah. not how I would think they would sound. And it shows just everything about them helps them stand out. Like yeah. it, it's like mixing standing out and it's as this goes forward, you know, I hope people have more questions for us and curiosity about how these processes work, you know? Yeah. I mean, I think in, this is such a, like a copy and paste culture. I mean, time of music and this is so adventurous and creative despite all that. And it, it's yeah. so, and and we do copy and paste, so it's not like it's not like we, we don't do it, but we it's do, like but this is not no exactly. It does exactly. not lean on that. This is so. Um, it, I could go through these tracks forever and just you know just keep listening and learning. And that's I think like when you you listen to your favorite music of the past, mm -hmm. and that's why you no matter what it is, that's why you attach to it and like. Right. Um, well, where this, it's about mix and being perfect and doing something for certain things. Maybe with that other person, it was the heart of that one take right. of that emotion of that day. So, yeah, I mean, we get so much out of it that we hope with this podcast that that, you know, goes to your songwriting and what you're trying to do. Yes, definitely. Because it's just about a matter of doing it because the next podcast is about, we're going to be about 10 more episodes. And the song is it came out just as easy but there's just we put a lot more time into it yeah and i love this next song this is a great song and i mean i'm for my own self as like a music lover and my own self spending hours and hours online and youtube and learn watching people do this and trying to learn i'm excited to have this like for my own disposal like my own self to be able to watch this process and learn from it and learn from what they do also all right, see you then. All right, take care. Architect of an electric lecture. Architect of an electric